Greetings, I'm Janet Gross and a candidate for a Forbes Library trustee position. I've lived in Northampton since 2008 and prior to that served as a faculty member and academic administrator. I'm also a frequent Forbes patron currently researching the women of Round Hill Road. And recently at the Forbes, quite serendipitously, I discovered John Palfrey's Bibliotech, Why Libraries Matter More in the Age of Google. Despite my affection for print, the Forbes' future is destined to become increasingly digital. There are amazing virtual possibilities out there and on the horizon. In theory, it's an exciting time for libraries. But alas, like libraries across the nation, the Forbes has been the target of budget cuts. The recent cut to the outreach program, along with raise your own funds, like previous cuts that resulted in reduced open hours, compromises service to patrons. Too often, funding cuts are based on false notions that libraries only provide information. So why fund them when the internet can answer all our questions, when Amazon and Google can supply our need for information and media at low cost, and Starbucks serves Wi-Fi along with its coffee? How quickly we overlook the library's vital role in maintaining the health of our community, our democracy, and our future. From Palfrey's book, I went to the Forbes' current strategic plan. There's no doubt the Forbes is a beloved institution and its staff sensitive to the needs of the community. Yet the library's current plan fails to address its future, what it might look like, how we might get there. It's time to consider the Forbes of 2025 and beyond to engage in a rigorous planning process that addresses, for example, the collaborative use of powerful digital resources alongside purchase of print and includes a compelling fundraising agenda. It is critical that the Forbes take advantage of the latest technology out there, be sufficiently strong to resist commercial influence, and above all, continue to promote equality and opportunity through free access to educational and cultural resources, as well as information. If elected to the Forbes' board, I will use my experience to promote the library's broad mission and work to ensure that the next strategic planning process set to begin in 2016 is forward-looking and well executed with the goal of sustaining and augmenting the Forbes' many invaluable if currently too little recognized, contributions to Northampton. Thank you.